All right, everyone, welcome back to the of Blade Reviews. Today we have the Dragon King Tactical Gladius. This is an Angus trim design. If you're not familiar with Angus trim's um, sword making, we have an Angus trim section on cultofathena.com. He primarily does custom work, but there are a few companies that he also works with where he designs blades that are more of like a price point. They're durable, but they're more of like a lower, uh, lower cost blade while keeping the quality really solid. We'll take a look at some specs on this blade, up close looks in and out of the scabbard, and then we'll do some cut testing with it. Let's get to it. Overall length, 32 and 3 quarter inches, all the way from the pommel. It's a full tang design, so it's really just there in case you want to add a lanyard to it. All the way to the very pointy tip. This is a Gladius design. It's designed off of a Gladius. Uh, I would say it's a little bit longer because it's a 23 inch blade. We're more looking at like a Spatha at that point if you really want to get technical. We have a really cool Albion Spatha video. If you look in the video descriptions, in the not video description, <laughs> in the video reviews, um, we do a really cool Albion Spatha that's got a longer blade like this too. Uh, this is a high carbon steel blade. It is one piece. So we are gonna do up close looks, but you can see it's literally just a piece of steel with some micarta handles sandwiched around it. This one is available now at coltwithina.com. It comes pretty damn sharp. Um, if we actually take the finger to it, you get a little bit of a pull on the edge, so it's a functionally sharp blade right out of the box for you. If you do want to add a sharpening service and you see the little check mark that you can add to that, you can click that. It'll take a day or two extra in order for you to get your blade, but Mark will add a sharpening service to that. Make sure in the comments below you give Mark a thank you for all the blades that he sharpens so that we can test them and get them on YouTube for you. So like I said before, we've got the 32 and 3 quarter inch blade, overall length, and then 23 and 3 eighths inch blade of just the edge itself. It bellies out on the upper third. That's really for slashing power, regardless of what kind of slashes you're doing. It's got a very pronounced thrust if you're looking at it from a direct thrusting point of view or to a cut. So a really versatile blade. If we look at the handle itself as well, if you did want to go double grip, like a two-handed grip, you have plenty of room for that. You could reinforce the grip if you wanted to for that. Or you can just have that for having a little bit more of a tail. If you do use the pommel or you do use like, you know, butt end strikes or whatever, that's there as well. Don't really need to do that when you have you have a sharp sword, but just so you know, we look at the scabbard. Scabbard is Kydex, so really looking at this one, it slides in really well and it clicks. So I wouldn't like be running upside down with this. I say that a lot in videos, but I do like honestly I like having no retention on blades because I don't want to have to rely on something that just holds a sword. I want to make sure that I'm staying cognitively aware anytime you're handling something sharp and pointy. So even though it does have a little bit of a, a click to it, so if we look up close here, these little dots go right into the dots that are actually on the handle. And that pops in a little bit. You could run some cord through this. I guess I'll go a little bit closer for that. You could run some cord through this here run some uh, some paracord through this. If you want to carry this on a backpack, um, I would not carry it, like I said, in with this position down. If you didn't want to carry it on your back or on like a pack or whatever, have it vertical up or slightly tilted. That's just my, you know, my opinion as far as that goes, but you gotta play with it to make sure everything that you're adding is safe to it. If you also want to, for these, for the lanyard holes, you can get like a belt or a sword frog that we have at cultofathena.com. You can wear this a little bit underneath, so maybe not just on the hip, but a little bit lower, so that way the draw is nice and secure. Not giving any like scratching at this point on the blade from drawing it in and out. You will probably get some wear toward the, the wider belly part of it, because this does have like a tiny diamond cross section on it. You can see that line going through it. So the light should be able to catch that. So that's gonna help and aid in cutting through rather than having a flat surface. We have a little bit more surface area to come through with that, which is really cool. Uh, point of balance on this, it's pretty solid. I'm gonna drop this real quick. 
That's the other thing too, is this thing isn't wood, so you could just throw it and not have to worry about it. It is closer toward the handle. So you are getting a good balance, no pun intended. You are getting a good balance between like cut and thrust, which is really cool, especially for a price point blade for this one. And what I want to do with this one now is to show you some up close looks in the scabbard and out of the scabbard. And then we're going to test it on the tatami mats right over here. Let's get to it. So a little bit more of a pull on the edge than I thought it would be. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, we're also working a little bit thicker mats here, which is not really much of an excuse. It's more of just seeing what edge we're playing with. The factory edge is pretty good. Hey, did you sharpen this? Yeah, yeah Mark put a, put a touch up on the edge on this one. I'm gonna give it another, another few cuts on this and we can finish off the mat. So a little bit more of a pull on the edge than I thought it would be. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, we're also working a little bit thicker mats here, which is not really much of an excuse. It's more of just seeing what edge we're playing with. The factory edge is pretty good. Hey, did you sharpen this? Yeah, yeah Mark put a, put a touch up on the edge on this one. I'm gonna give it another, another few cuts on this and we can finish off the mat. I don't really... No, it definitely helped. Yeah. Cut like pretty much all the way through it other than the last little piece of it. Dude, technique was important. Just every great blade fighting nation ever. All right, so we take a look at this blade a little bit more up close. It's all blacked out, which is cool because you don't have to worry about like corrosion or like rust, res it's really just rust res resistant built into it. So you'll see the diamond cross section as the light hits it. It's a very pronounced belly. And if we go up to the handle as well, you'll see that little dot right there is in order to create retention, a little bit of retention. We do have a short hand guard, that way the hand doesn't slide up the blade. And you'll also see right toward the bottom, it's actually not sharp about a thumb's length past the guard. That's really done for safety. That way, if there was something where your hand had slide up, you're not going directly onto a razor razor blade with your forefinger and your thumb. That would suck, don't do that. And you'll see the, see the Allen keys right here. It's three on either side. Like I said, this is sandwiched between a full tang. It's just a single piece of steel going back up the belly on the other side back to the pointy tip the tip is like super pointy so i'm going to take it down to here because the light will give it a little bit more contrast there's going to be some grass on it but it's not a big deal pretty awesome blade like i said before you can do two hands on it if you did want to choke down a little bit for some reason you have that option as well so there you have it we've got the angus trim Tactical Gladius here from Dragon King. We did some up close looks at it, some specs, and also some cut testing on the tatami mats. If you like blades like this, you want to check this one out, click the link in the description below this video. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. I'll talk to you soon.